Hi guys, welcome to Memphis Motors and today we've got a video tour of the Range Rover Sport Autobiography. So absolutely lovely car, it's just coming to stock with us. Um, and as many, as you, many of you know, we do we specialise in Jaguar Land Rover. So we've had a bit of diversity in our stock lately, so it's just really nice to be back filming a Range Rover Sport. But uh, this is a lovely one on a 61 plate, early 2012 model, Range Rover Sport Autobiography. It's got some nice detailing, which I'll go through and it's a really lovely car. So just thought I'd do a quick video tour. I'm gonna just wander you around the car once, um, then we'll go back around it for a second time, just go through it in more detail. We'll kind of run through the spec of the car, any imperfections, but to be fair, it's in really nice condition. It's been looked after. Um, just finding these videos really useful. I know I sort of say this a lot on our channel, but a lot of our customers now are looking to buy cars from us online with us delivering them. And it's just a nice way, if you've had a video tour of the car, you just feel a little bit more in control of the process. You're not just relying on photographs or perhaps I'll say so for it. And it's just nice if you've actually had a bit more of a comprehensive look and you do buy it online, when it comes, you can get excited. You're not sort of nervous that you've missed out on something. Um, also, you know, we love people coming to see us. You know, welcome to come down here to Memphis Motors, have a look at the cars, um, but we appreciate you know, there's a lot of travel involved. There's time, there's money, there is expense, and there's different ones out there in the market. And no one wants to travel and commit to then turning up and it's not what you thought it would be. So we'd much rather sort of just, you can watch this video first and make your judgment as to whether you want to come or not. So there we go. Now, before I get into the main video, all of our cars, they all go through a full 41 point health check with our technicians. Um, make sure they're good. Anything that's picked up on will be done. We will also run this car through a new MOT, so it'll come with a brand new 12 month MOT. Uh, we'll do a brand new service, um, and it comes with a three month warranty, which you can extend. So it's a lot of money to spend, but you know you've got warranty, service, MOT, and health check, so hopefully you've got the confidence. Now, what we'll do, we'll have a really good look at the car. Before I get going with it, it's got full service history, loads of paperwork, loads of stamps, it's got two keys, it's got the cam belt that's been changed as well, which is really important on one of these. So if you read through the advert that comes with this car, you can just sort of read a bit more about it, and obviously you can ask us any questions, but it's got a brilliant history with it. So let's get into it. Let's start down the driver's side and work around. So if we get nice and low on the car, um, really, really clean, you know, lovely down the car. There's no dings, there's no dents. All the shut lines are where we'd want them to be. The car instantly is HPI clear. So if you want to see a copy of that, let us know. We can email it through or you can see it on the day. But yes, yeah, super, super clean down there. Really nice. The paintwork's lovely as well. Coming down onto the front tyre here. So we've got a really nice, obviously, an autobiography alloy wheel here. Um, diamond cut in super condition. Um, yeah, I've had a, look at them, uh, had a look around at them earlier and there's barely any marks on them at all. This one, I think, looking from what I can see, is pretty much perfect but really nice diamond cut you know you've got the chrome with the uh with the sort of the graphite gray in the middle and, and on the inserts you've got the really nice red caliper shining through so just very very nice discs and pads look great on the car tires look really good on the car but again what we'll do the technicians that's just a visual inspection the technicians will check tires brakes discs suspension if anything needs doing it'll be done but certainly visually it all looks really good tires have got loads of tread on them they're matching all around the car which is important on a four-wheel drive and yeah just a really nice start to the car really isn't it down here we've got a bit of sort of detailing came on the autobiography the kind of the black and the brushed silver but very very good clear repeaters up here onto the wing mirror this has got a matte black finish really good condition a little bit of a scratch there but it's very very minor but just a bit of a scratch there but overall very very good car itself is gorgeous you've got keyless entry so as long as your keys are on you in your pocket or in your bag whatever you can walk up to the car you can either open it or you can press this button here to lock it and unlock it quite useful you know if it's raining or you can't find your your keys or you've got loads of shopping on you it's a nice feature on the car got the side seal seals down there on the side looking really good Everything's very, very clean. Coming down here on the door line, very good down here. No annoying little sort of dings or dents or you know where you open the door into things. So it's very, very clean. Onto the rear door there, getting nice and close. Paintwork is lovely on the car. So I don't know if it's been garaged or just regularly washed and looked after, but it's gleaming. So very, very nice. Again, keyless entry on the back. Just check the door shut, really nice. No issues at all, really clean. A little bit, I know it's just a bit of dirt there, so it's very good. Onto the alloy wheel at the rear again, matching tyres to the front, loads of tread on them, but they'll be checked. That alloy, good condition, couple of little scuffs on it, little one around the 12 o'clock mark and the seven o'clock mark, but other than that, pretty perfect. Again, red calipers on the back as well, which I just think sets the car off. Nice round the fuel, 
filler housing. We've got a little bit of a black mark here, just on the paint. It's not massive. You can always touch it in. Just, just chipped away a little bit there. Probably stones flicked up, I would have thought. But uh, it's not major. Let like you step away from the car and you can't even really see it. But again, these videos are here to show you everything that we see. And that's the whole idea. On to the back of the car. I love the autobiographies. You can always tell them obviously you've got the badge on them but looking at the way the exhaust come out of the back the exit system with the sort of cube uh, exhaust tail pipes they just use how you can really tell an autobiography and they just look quite menacing um, what's really nice on this car is someone has actually just done a bit of detailing on it so this part here is being wrapped or sprayed but done a really nice job in matte black as has the roof so the, that wasn't standard. So someone's actually done the roof black and they've done a really lovely job on it. It's really, really clean. It works so well. So we've then got a nice black contrast through the roof into the paintwork. A lot of the autobiographies in white have got the white roof, but when you've got the black detailing, it just really works on the car. All the lettering's been taken off as well. All lettering's been taken off. And yeah, it just, it just makes the car look really clean at the back actually. Um, just noticed a little bit where they take the lettering off. Still got the very, very slight remnants of the Range Rover wording behind it, but it's not a problem. We'll just polish that out. We'll give it a nice mop and that'll be disappeared. You can't really see it unless you get super close under floodlights, but uh, yeah, we'll take care of that. No problems at all. Down here, head, rear lights are very good. Corners of the bumpers, no issues at all. And actually it's very clean along the load boot. Obviously we've got the black sort of protection piece there. But actually coming along here, it's really nice. I mean, there's the odd little scratch here and there. Um, nothing major at all. A little bit of a, a little bit of a chip there, but it's very, pretty clean. Given that sort of a heavy usage area, it's very clean. Like I say, a few little scratches, but nothing major at all. I do like it with no lettering. I wasn't sure how I'd feel about it. I knew it was coming in with no lettering on it, and I actually think it looks pretty cool. I'm glad they left the autobiography sport badge because I think that's the that's the main one. Corners looking nice, coming down the passenger side. Lovely and clean, no dings, no dents. Shut lines again, exactly where we want them to be. Car's in really good condition. It's obviously been looked after. You can see that through the history of the car and you can obviously see it from the outside as well. Rear alloy, nice condition. Um, small scuff around the sort of five, six o'clock mark. But other than that, very, very nice, very clean. Again, loads of tread on these tires, they look almost brand new there's so much going on so we'll get that them checked out down the doors no issues at all shut line looking very good no problems at all and over here on the passengers very very good that's that black is just a black mark that i'll polish out i'll get rid of that but other than that really really clean it's just very nice coming down there on the driver's door again very straight it's just a clean car Passenger's mirror, looking good. Couple of little scratches on it, but nothing sort of made, but just a few light marks on it there. And coming down here onto the passenger's alloy, I'd say that's pretty much perfect. Little bit, little scuff around the eight o'clock mark, but minor. But actually the alloys really set the car off. They just look smart. I've seen a lot of people with autobiographies change the wheels and I don't like it because it sort of de-standardizes the car, which is a shame. Have a look at the front of it nice and low on it really clean obviously got the upgraded or the sorry the more facelift version of the headlights with the clear side repeaters really nice how someone's black the lower grill out underneath the number plate that just makes it look really sharp again originally that would have been sort of silver i do like the black detailing on the car because it looks good but they've done it well so it's a really nice job very very good headlights are clear no water ingress you've got the xenons there with the day running lights you've got that nice autobiography grill rather than the traditional HSC where you've got the two slack grill, you've got that one open vent, which looks really smart. And in terms of the actual front of the car, really nice, very, very few stone chips. The odd one, there's a couple here in the middle. You can always touch them in, one there, one there. But again, I'm half a foot away from the car under floodlights. But uh, the minute you take a sort of step back, you tend to lose them. But fundamentally, really, really clean. Bonnet's very good as well. No issues at all. Again, a little bit of remnants to see in the Range Rover lettering, so we'll get rid of that. Down here, very clean. Again, a few little stone chips here and there, but nothing major at all. Like I said, just see some of the lettering coming through, so we'll give it a good mop across here and that'll disappear. But very, very clean along the front. Like I said, the odd little stone chip here and there, but I think for a car that's done 105,000 nearly, it's looking really, really fresh. 
So I think the outside of the car is lovely. Couple of small marks here and there. You're probably gonna expect that. I mean, it's 12 years old now. Doesn't look it, does it? But it is, um, but fundamentally, I think very, very nice. Privacy glass looks good at the back. Again, continuation of the black and white theme. Inside, lovely autobiography seats. We've got the, the kind of gray. We don't see too much of this. A lot of the autobiographies have kind of got black and cream. I like the sort of the gray. It's actually, there is two-tone leather. It's quite hard to see, but if you have a look, you've got gray in the middle, then you've got black on the outside. So again, it's quite hard to see through the lens, but you've got black down here, and then this is a contrast gray. So it's really, again, quite an unusual, but lovely interior, autobiography sport etched into the head seats. Passenger seat, really nice condition. You know, no rips, no tears. All bolsters are looking good. And over here on the drivers, it's really good. Driver's bolster, upper bolster, very nice. Little bit of wear there, but nothing major. And down here, very good. Base of the seat is good. Little bit of wear on the outer bolster here. We've got very, very small. It's not a rip, but just a little, well, maybe a little bit of a rip form in there, but it's nothing major, but uh, you can always get that. But fundamentally, really, really nice on the interior leather. Just jump inside. So we've got two keys on the car. I've only got one on me filming, but we have got two. I've got the other one inside. 104,935, so called out 105. Put on the brakes, start it up. It drives yeah, lovely. I've actually driven oh, this yeah. car. I drive all the ones I film and it drives so well. I've got to be honest. It really, really is lovely. It's, it's very smooth. It's lovely through the gearbox. It drives straight. It brakes well, it brakes straight. There's no vibrations. Um, over the bumps, suspension seems to be very, very nice. Technicians will check it, but certainly takes the bumps well. There's no knocking. Suspension arms obviously doing their job. Um, but it really is a nice car to drive. And you can always tell these cars when they've been looked after and maintained, you can tell when they're tighter. Um, and this is, yes, a nice tight, tight version. So in the middle, we've got our sort of standard Range Rover. Uh, we can connect our phone to streaming music through the car. You can also, um, obviously you've got hands-free for your telephone. Um, have a quick look, we should have a TV selection on here. It won't work in the warehouse, but yeah, there we go. We've got the TV um, connection here, so you can kind of get that going if you want. Um, radio, so we've got all our different sort of settings here, which is all very, very nice. Uh, let's go back to the main screen, make sure the sat nav's working. It was for the pictures, but I'll just show it to you working. There we go. That's where we are, Leighton Road in Solbury. So come and see us. Sat nav's working well. So yeah, there's loads of other features on here, but fundamentally, hands-free, stream your phone for your music, um, sat nav, then you can play around with the car settings as well. Coming down here, all the manual controls, start, stop button, nice condition. See the start wearing away a little bit, they always do, but fundamentally pretty clean. Heated seats, which work well. Oh, very, very good. And obviously being a later Range Rover Sport, we've got the, the Twizzly gear stick. So rather than the old pull one, this pops up when the car's on, pops down when the car's off. So you've got the later gearbox in it. Um, so all very clean. And actually a lot of them are very scratched around here, but this is a few little scratches, but fundamentally pretty clean. Suspension's all working well. We've had the car up and down. The compressor's working. It's not noisy. Car's doing everything it should do, as is the handbrake. Center console, really good condition. We should have our fridge, yeah, our fridge box in there. If you've had a fridge box before, I always say you always are gonna want one. If you haven't had one, then you get one, then you're gonna love it. So it's just useful to have in the summer for drinks. USB and iPod connection. Don't anyone uses the iPod, but the USB is helpful. Um, down here, armrest, nice condition on the passengers. Check the drivers. Really, really nice, very, very good. No issues at all. Then over here, looking really good. We've got the leather dash up here. Um, all very, very good. Etch stitching along here. So it's very, very clean indeed. And then we come along the side and we've got the autobiography written into the side. It's just nice detail in the ambient lighting. We've got the upgraded carbon carbon sound system as well. So it's just really, really cool. Over onto the steering wheel, leather steering wheel, very, very nice all the way around. They do wear well. We've got adaptive cruise control, so not just cruise control, adaptive on the left, hands-free on the right, and then there we've got the all-important heated steering wheel, which is a great selling feature, but is also just nice to have. Automatic lights, automatic windows, wipers, not windows, sorry, wipers, we've got electric windows. We've got electric memory seats for the driver, electric seats for the passenger and electric memory seats for the driver. So yeah, very, very good. The car smells nice. It doesn't smell of pets in there at all. It smells nice and fresh. Then coming into the rear of the car, nice condition. Doesn't look like it's been used much stroke at all. Isofix points, again, a continuation of the two-tone leather. 
heated seats down there for your guests. So it's just a really nice place to be. And again, just small things. You've got like, like the stitching that you've got on the dashboard. You've got stitching around the leather, the autobiography in the side. So just loads of little details that you don't get on the standard HSEs. Just open the boot up. I've confused it. So let me just get this boot open. It was working earlier. I think I've just completely confused that. Oh, there we go. I was pressing the wrong button. Boots working well. Parcel shelf is present, nice and clean in the boot. Hasn't had a hard life, so it's always good to see. I think you can tell so much from the boots. They're covered in dog hair and sort of rubbish, and you always question what the car's been used for, but nice and clean. So there we go, that's the video tour. I hope that helps. Hope that's a useful tour of the car. Um, I obviously, if you need more areas of the car filmed or photographed, let us know. We're more than happy to help. If you're looking at a delivery, we just need to know postcode. We can get you an ETA on when we get the car to you. We can turn things around pretty quick and a price on delivery. Or if you're hoping to come and see the car with us, we'd love to show it to you. We are by appointment, so do phone ahead just to make sure we're here. We normally are, but don't want you to be disappointed. So there we go. I hope that helps. Yeah, like I say, give us a call. You can email us, WhatsApp us or message us. We'll always come back to you. But for everyone else, thanks so much for watching.